Hi guys and welcome back to my channel, The Black Widow here. So today's going to be a really quick video about assassin bugs and uh, I'm going to show you a few things. I'm going to show you some new assassin bugs that I have and uh, give a wonderful shout out to uh, David from the House of Bugs. You can go and check out his channel. He's got some amazing sort of um, surprises coming up soon. I won't say more than that. He will uh, he will disclose that when he's ready. Um, but for the time being, I wanted to give him a massive good review because it's gonna come in handy. Um, and I will show you why. So this is why he's getting a big shout out from me. This here is a baby ghost assassin bug. These are not like super common in the hobby and uh, David uh, bred these himself and uh, he kindly gifted me, yes that's right, gifted me I think five of them. I'm not going to pull them all out, I'll show you their little setup. Let's just put him back in there gently. So this is their current little setup, so you can see down here. The reason I'm not going to like pull every individual one out is because they are really incredibly hard to find. As you saw there, they are really small and um, they are very, very difficult to, to find in this rather large enclosure. Actually, that goes over the other side. Let's just put that back so that he knows where he's going. And... Um, yeah, so I just water this down and there's a couple hidden sort of just inside in the in the middle section. You can't really see because they are tiny. I have had a couple of molts. I believe, I think there's one just a little molt just there. I believe he gifted me five. I didn't do film the, um, I didn't film the rehousing um, because as you can probably still hear, I have been incredibly sick. Um, and I'm still fairly poorly now. Um, so this is just a tall jar and it's got ventilation on the top, um, really good ventilation, holes, etc. but they can't escape from because they, uh, they are very good at climbing. Um, so again, massive thank you to David from the House of Bugs. These... Okay guys, so within keeping within the video, I thought I would show you my other assassin bugs. Uh, and in here I have 10 spiny assassin bugs. Uh, most of them are hiding under there. So this setup is perfect for them. They've got little water dish here, normal substrate. I have recently added this substrate in in a large um, sort of mound. And um, I will show you why in, in just a minute. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and feed these guys so you can see them here. These are spiny assassin bugs. And uh, you know that they're mature because um, they get their they get their spikes that you can see here. So we are going to we are going to feed these guys. Let's see if any of them are hungry. That's if I could get any crickets, that would be great. Got him. That's not fight. Oh. <laughs> so these are fast approaching, turning into one of my um, favourite kind of um, bug, I guess I can say. They, um, I just find them really interesting and kind of strange and yeah they're just really interesting little little creatures um so these guys will spray like an acid which you do not want um to be hit by so try to keep your eyes out of range of them because i've been told that they are pretty good at um at getting you in the eye. Uh, secondly, um, 
they their bite is pretty nasty uh really nasty in fact they sorry i'll just see if i can get this little guy to grab onto some food on some food yeah um yeah so that bite is really really nasty and will cause you a whole world of pain guys so don't be handling these don't be picking them up um because seriously you you don't want to they you do not want to bite oh crickets are jumping around everywhere this one down here is really really small and i'm not sure i'm not sure why do you want it? Do you want it? Yay, he got it. So I'm trying to like feed them directly to make sure that all of them are feeding because it appears that some of them are definitely a lot bigger than others. So let's move on uh, to show you why I have got this mound of damp substrate. Okay, so that mound that you saw in my assassin bug uh, enclosure is because in here, see if we can reveal them so that you can see what assassin bug eggs look like. So yes, that's right. My assassin bugs have in fact had babies or at the very least, they've had eggs, which I'm now waiting, uh, waiting patiently to touch. Okay, here we go. There are a few in here. There's one. They're quite well buried, um, which is perfectly fine. There's, there's a, another one. So these are assassin bug eggs. There we go. There's these tiny little things so very soon in the next couple of weeks i will have some spine some baby spiny assassin bugs i will be keeping probably most of them depending on how many i get total um because i don't have that many uh eggs so i don't think i'll be selling them um so yeah that concludes this video guys again Go and check out David uh, from the House of Bugs. Go and check out his channel. I will put the link in the description. He's an amazing guy, a really great friend, and um, he knows his stuff when it comes to to assassin bugs. He's given me lots of advice in regards to assassin bugs. He knows his stuff about spiders, and uh, yeah, he's basically just an overall amazing guy. So please go and show him some love. Please tell him that I sent him your way, and keep an eye out for uh, what he's got coming up next uh, because it's it's going to be good guys.